Miller Lite mentions. What? Miller Lite, great taste, less filling. 96 calories. I love That's when like, you say that. Thank you. So best plane ride, uh, why don't y'all go first? Uh, I'll go first. The New York football Jets. Yeah. Short flight, too. And they all probably got to FaceTime with Gary V once they boarded. I don't know who that is. Gary Vaynerchuk, shout out to Vayner Sports. He's going to one day own the Jets. Biggest, like, real Jet fan there is. And if you follow him, he's like one of those uh, grinder, like, you should be putting out content every day. Bigger you than should. the fireman? Like, he's the best. He's the real deal. He, he built the fireman? it. fireman? I don't even know him. Ed. His Ed. name's Ed. His name's Ed. Don't even know him. Yeah, well, I don't know Gary Best B. flight, New York Jets home after a big win. Oh, yeah. Robert Sala's in there just, he's making notes. He's got a list going. Chalky, but I'll go Dolphins. Uh, they were down yeah. by a million. Yeah. Uh, Tyreek's got to be a good time on that plane. He's got a little Willie Mays Hayes to him. Shoot, Mike McDaniel has a little Lou Brown to him, for that matter. Yeah. I'd like to be on that yeah, Lou Brown. Yeah, yeah no, I don't know. <laughs> no, I yeah. mean, different vibe. Different Lou Brown. Yeah, but same, same Younger Lou speed. Younger Lou Brown. Same vibe, energy, mm, not the same vibe. Same energy, same speed, and winners. Yeah. Melvin Ingram's very cool on that plane. Oh, I bet he's cool. He's the coolest plane buddy. I bet you that's a fun That's a fun flight. I want to say this to Cardinals because there's nothing better in pro football than relief, especially when you know the tax man's coming eventually for your team. And you're like, I don't think we got it. But like in week two. Get some wins. We get some wins. Big uh, Shout out to my man Steve Kahn. We just got a new tattoo. It's got a bunch of wolves on it. It's badass. Cool. Like, like he's Steve one of my Kahn. favorite GMs, man. Like he was Steve all Kahn. jacked up after the game. We love Steve Kahn. The Cardinals flight is short. You're in Old Town, Scottsdale, pretty early. So that's uh that's that's a big one for me. Worst plane ride. Oh, worst plane ride. Bangles, man. First off, you're a bangle guy, huh? I like the bangles. I'm a bingle guy. You're oh. a bangle guy. Yeah, bangle. yeah, you're a bangle guy. You're a bangle guy. You walk bangle. like an Egyptian. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the bangles. <laughs> No, but the the bungles, man, they're the bungles. They're more from right. back in the bungles. They're also the they're also falling out of the Americas. They were in the Americas team. They're one of the best Americas teams in America, like a couple weeks ago. But now they're chop liver and the commie cowboys, the communists. They fucking they took it to them, and now you got to leave that stadium, which takes three hours in and of itself. Like there's a huge underbelly to that stadium with the with the big. You don't see the light of day for five minutes driving your bus around in the basement of that motherfucker. It's just, and then the airport I think is kind of far. And Dallas is like, no matter where you're flying to Dallas from, it's it's further than you think. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, maybe they, they probably had a headwind. I'll go Carolina Panthers leaving East Rutherford, the Meadowlands, MetLife Stadium. They're 0-2 after uh, the Jacoby Brissett Browns and Danny Dimes, that's a bad scene. They're, they have the worst Monday scaries. Monday scaries might be an award, but like, hmm. The Monday scaries for me, it's like it's no place higher than Carolina. Yep. Matt Rule might be dead man walking. I mean, the vibes in that building are not good. Not good. Matt Rule, alive or dead? What? He alive. Is, no, he dead. Alive. He's dead to me. He is alive. Yeah, he's actually. alive. Yep. He's alive. Dead to me. Okay. Uh, my, my worst flight will, uh, I'm going to curtail off last week's worst bus ride, which was the Bears to Lambeau. Field and they fly back after that loss to Aaron Rodgers, who still has his name on the deed for the yeah. team. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were talking that shit. His name is on the deed, big time. They were talking that shit. Yeah, no, I know. That's a that's a bad plane ride. I mean, uh, Bevel Conway. I mean, is can anybody beat the Chiefs and the Chargers? I feel like we're trying too hard. If we Trying too hard, but as a homer, the, the Bears-Packers rivalry. I mean, getting to come home last night. Obviously, I work pregame on Sundays, but I get to come home and make it home for the Sunday night game. I got all my popcorn ready to watch. You know, Justin Fields drives down the, the field to take the lead. That's my Bevel Conway. Diving, you know, they, his knee was down, but oh, diving. Yeah, only way it could have been better would be uh, if you wear those throwback Bears uniforms with yep. the Michigan Wolverine type things. Uh, in there. Delaware. Break that. the tie. I'm going to go with Kyle. At, oh, really? At night, under the lights. Oh, I think you guys are smoking toads but, right now. Look, I got a problem. Licking them, licking them. Yeah, you're licking toads. I got a bit of a problem with red, just generally. Yeah. Oh. So, um, 
Chiefs and Arrowhead is great, but it's too much ketchup and mustard. I want to give me. a shout out to Air Force in Wyoming. I sent you that oh, text. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Some beautiful. Two of the best helmets. I see whites for for Air Horse, and then Wyoming always brings. Yeah, it. Yeah, so Wyoming always brings it. They got the W there. I got the um, Wyoming yellow on right you now. Do. You do. It's a good color. Hollow man, I'm going uh, Hunter Renfro. Man, that really sucks. But he he almost transferred it to our guy who picked up the fumble who we mentioned earlier, and damn near Leon led it. Mm. So Hollow man, I'm going. Uh, I'm yeah, I'm going that yeah. I'll go Ron Rivera. He went for two after scoring to make it 29-21. He was trying to make it 29-23. Some, for some guys, analytics don't look good on you. I, I know Riverboat Ron is Riverboat for a reason, but kick the extra point, extend the game, yeah. because then Joey Sly Hokey misses an extra point, and the game He's is there for He's a Hokey. He mm-hmm. was a Hokey. Uh, once a Hokey, only a Hokey while you're there because you don't want to claim it afterwards. Yep. And uh, he misses that, therefore, uh, in effect, ending that fun little Lions uh, commies game. Marcus Peters is my hollow man. Yeah. You're playing against Tyreek Hill. Line up at the goal line. <laughs> right. No, or Kyle Hamilton, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Well, that, that, whole, that whole secondary could win I, hollow yeah. man. Yeah. Well, Unfortunately for Marcus, the angle told me to say but, Marcus. Yeah, yeah. Well, Kyle Hamilton was so far outside the <laughs> yeah. picture that people were he like, was, "Oh, there is no safety. He must not be safety help." I it mean, was also seventy-seven degrees at uh, 70, 74, 70 something degrees at Lambeau. Eberflus was in a short sleeve shirt. Yeah, yeah. Global warming. Yeah, that's a callback to Bevel Conway from a few moments ago. Yeah. But it did rain. It was pissing a little bit there late, which Near makes it time. even Near more time. I don't have yeah. a viewing party. My fly on the wall is Bruce Arians and Mike Evans. I want to know what the hell was said. I mean, where do we start there? You want to go fly on the wall or viewing party? Y'all got one? Viewing fly. party, I want to be with Cowboy Reed for every Thaniel Hackett game. Fly on the wall, I want, to, I want to do any conversation. I want to do like control F. That's control find, yeah. I want to control F any conversation involving the word Dak in or around Arlington, Texas, among persons with a net worth over $100 million. <laughs> because that will include Jerry Jones. Is he like, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, we yeah. don't need Dak Prescott to win football games. Cooper Rush is out here. I don't know what, I don't know what Jerry's thinking right now. Is Dak, so um, Dak is, all right, you guys tell me. You're on the sideline. You don't want to get Wally pipped. Cowboys look great to start, and then is Dak low key a little fired up that they don't put up forty five that they win it? They have to win it in the end on a yeah, long field probably. Goal? I mean, as long as you win and you don't look like like an idiot. Like, here's the deal: they played the Bucks last week. That's a different challenge. Um, not that Cincy is anything to sneeze at defensively, but you know, I, I think if you're Dak, you feel safe. Um, but the injuries are mounting, and Jerry wants to win um, a Super Bowl while he's still around. That was macabre. I, you know, I'm, I don't want to think about Jerry alive Jones. Alive or dead, Jerry Jones. Jerry Jones is alive. Alive. Yeah. Alive. Very much alive. Alive. Okay. Maybe more alive than I have ever been. Yeah. Oh, so, God, that guy's living. L-I-V-I-N. Yeah. I got to do you a know? fly on the wall. I would love to be in the DMs of Lattimore and Mike Evans, or like maybe they're going to tweet at each other. Mm-hmm. There's going to be some shit that comes out this week. Mm-hmm. I just can't wait to see it. St. Louis Memorial Award. Can I give that out? Sure. To the entire Detroit Lions team? Because I don't, like, I want to give it to Jared Goff. Jared Goff, you know, since December, go look at his numbers. He's one of the best quarterbacks in the league. You know, a game like yesterday, if we're going to be making determinations on guys this early in the season, you know, he's 20 for 34, 256, four touchdowns. He looks very capable of leading this team to the playoffs. Wow. I mean, they're a good football team. They're a good football team. Like they, like yesterday, was was a big day for them. They beat a team they should have beat. You know, like that. That's good. Like last year when they won, everybody was like, "Look at the Lions. They might be good in a year." In just a year, you're like, "Oh, the Lions might be good right now." It's so, such a perfect example of what a culture does. Well, it's culture. It's players. It's Amon Ross St. Brown. It's you know like well, you having have a sun god on your team. It's Aiden Hutchinson. I want to shout him out. He had a hat trick yesterday. Which any anybody trying to win an award needs a multi, multiple sack game. And as as Reed pointed out, the Chip other guys Banks. that have multi sack games, your guy Chip Banks, Chip Banks from wherever he's from, Lawton, Oklahoma, Lawton, Oklahoma, and Julius Peppers, who clearly Aiden Hutchinson is now going to be Julius Peppers. Like they won the rookie of the year. Here's the thing I'll say about Aiden Hutchinson. 
these are hustle sacks and he's rushing inside. So like, let's not get carried away and say he's better than the kid in Jacksonville or that he's better than it. Like, this is just a great start for him. It's a great start. You need this start. If you want to win defensive rookie of the year, I want to see him do it over and over again. Frank Gore, mine goes to O'Shane Zimenez because y'all can't say his name still and he's balling out for the 2-0 New York Giants. He's an ODU monarch, by the way. Yeah, he had to be big sad about the service dog. Mine goes out to the Jack, to my, my Miller Lite St. Louis Memorial Frank Gore Award. Yeah, it's a, it's a mouthful. <laughs> yeah, goes, we're going to work on it. Yeah, goes to the Jaguars front seven uh, containing Jonathan Taylor to... Five carries, four yards in the first half. Incredible and terrible for my fantasy team. Yeah. Like awful. But you have a Monra. Yeah, I have a Monra. Game ball. I'm giving it to Tua, man. Great day for for the Dolphins and for Tua. I mean, fuck yeah. Happy to hand this one out. I've got two game balls to give Especially out. Especially because I didn't bet the Ravens. One of them is in a loss, and one of them is not in the sport of football. David Montgomery last night, 15 rushes, 122 yards, eight plus a carry, gives the Bears a chance to win. Unfortunately for him, it's not going to be in a win last night. Uh, and Max Homa, friend of the program, good buddy, PGA Tour player. He won the Fortnite championship. I know that's not how you say it. Did he really? It's the Fortnite championship. Mm-hmm. Second year in a, second year in a row that he won. So Max the Homa is uh, somebody I've played with. No, I know. Who, he's awesome. Yeah, he's, he's a good guy, right? Great he's, guy. Chipped in on 18, and unfortunately, Danny will three, three putt. putt. <laughs> But it's not Max will it? Will it? So I'll see your 15 for 122 and raise you 15 for 132. Two touchdowns. My game ball goes to Aaron Jones last night yeah. with an honorable mention to uh, Micah Parsons because when you uh, got the Cincy money line and there's only one guy you're worried about on, on that he, other side. And he wrecks the thing anyway. And he wrecked it. He wrecked and I just it. want to shout out myself here. Um, maybe a viewing party for the people at the win. They're probably going to be calling me with like a fraud alert or like hey, your password doesn't work anymore because <laughs> yesterday 1 p.m. is Detroit. Detroit Pittsburgh teaser. Ravens over 23. New Orleans Tampa under. Missed on Carolina. Had Atlanta. Had San Francisco. And then the Packers. I got to do the math here, but that looks like 7-1. and one. Listen to the full podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and other podcast streaming platforms. Uh, Wherever you want to get the podcast, you can get the podcast. Pretty simple. New episodes every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Podcasts get pretty wild. This is real tame.